All right, what's going on? It's Sean from Barbell Little Body, and today uh, I'm doing a video demonstration of basically my last video on why uh, slower eccentrics will make for a better bench press, um, or at least a cleaner press. Uh, so I want to walk through that, getting comments on some of my other videos of, you know, you talk about it, but you don't ever demonstrate it. Uh, so I'm going to do a different camera angle here. I'm going to try and get it so basically like an overhead shot and we can, I can talk through while I'm pressing. I'm gonna have a light load on the bar, uh, but I should still be able to uh, demonstrate because lighter loads, I can actually talk through it. And then I'll show uh, some of my heavier pressing. Uh, today I did a three by three, 305. Uh, heavier is a lighter week still, um, but yeah. So we're gonna go through it. So obviously one of the things that makes for a good press is repeatability. You want the bar path going down to the same spot. You want that tension. Uh, one of the tough things to do uh, is if you have a lot of speed, first of all, you're almost just dropping the bar. So if I come up here and I just, and I have a very fast descent, I'm not in control. So not only is my muscle activation less, it's gonna speed up the bar path. So when it comes down to my chest, I have to base, I have to catch it. So my, the force output is way high. So when I'm like this, and I basically come that bottom part of the press because I'm not slowly basically matching the weight on the way down is significantly more. So this at the bottom is, 100, is way more than 135 pounds of force to get the bar back up to basically stop it and reaccelerate in the other direction. This also can lead to the issue of where if you're going down super quick, the bar path, the bar may come up way up higher on the chest, way lower down on the chest, and you're not in a good spot. So what you want is when you go nice and slow, you're not only, you're getting, you're matching that force output with the bar. So by the time you get to the chest, it's not taking a ton of effort and a ton more muscle activation to get that stop, pause, transition to the uh, concentric portion. So when you match that force, so when you slow it down, and like I said, with heavy weights, you want it nice and controlled, you want it going down the same part of your chest. Boom, boom. So now that force output at the bottom is gonna equal, or pretty much close, I don't have to take a ton of force to slow down the bar, and then press back. So you're matching that force. So it's gonna also help you groove that bench press. Now, when you do power exercises, now, and this is something I don't recommend for people who don't have extremely good technique, and are fairly strong to begin with. I'd say well over body weight bench pressers probably shouldn't be doing a bunch of power exercises. So get your technique down, and then at that point, you could do faster. So you get in your position. But I think that kind of low, high power, high velocity bench uh, is much better for those who are extremely proficient benchers. So the other issue with doing, when you're using heavier weights too, Right, so we just talked about doing like power exercises, but when you're not in control or when you drop the bar down really fast, one of the things that happens because you have to catch it at the bottom, right? So you have low muscle, lower muscle activation basically because you're not generating that force. And then at the bottom you have this jolt, uh, this like massive stretch shortening cycle where you have to overcome, you have to stop the bar, basically catch it, stop it from moving, and then accelerate it in, this, in the concentric phase. During that phase, what happens is, too, is you see a lot of people lose form. So the, the arch will collapse, and they basically drop the bar, push their shoulder blades around, and their position's all out of walk, too. So I've seen this happen, something similar to this. You come down really quick. This is going to be hard to demonstrate. But you lose tension. Their head might come up, but, and they drop out of that arch, and now they get the bar here, and now they're in a terrible position. They go, and then they fail. So if you, if you drop down really quick and this drops you out of your arch as you come down, you're now not, not in a good pressing position either to pop back up. So you go, boom, oh, I'm all goofy, realign, catch myself, try and save the lift. It's not what you want. You want to be in control the whole time, come down and go back up. So if you're going fast enough where you're losing position at the bottom, you're losing that tension, the bar path is too fast. You should not be losing tension. And that's why I said for power exercises, till you get to that point where you're extremely proficient, where you're not losing any tension, 
and you can just without your back tackling, without the bar hitting all kinds of different crazy places, uh, without your body doing goofy stuff, till you get to that point, you're not ready for power exercises. Train strength first, then move to power, slow down your eccentrics for a cleaner press. All right, so what you see here, I'm doing my three by three at 305. Um, just pay special attention, look at the bar path, very similar, nice and controlled, no big jolt at the bottom where I'm trying to uh, slow the bar down. There's no loss in arch, uh, nice and controlled. Obviously my arms are a little bit shaky. Uh, I was definitely feeling it. This is a, obviously, um, it's like a deload week kind of, uh, basically an ease up. I was doing five by four last week with this weight. Um, but so just nice and controlled, that's the thing. So if the speed's too fast and you're losing any of those form uh, techniques where it feels bad, just slow down the eccentric a little bit and give it a try and see if it works.